Join me on today's expedition as we go through Expedition Point, a subdivision located in Desert Ridge, one of Phoenix's most sought after locations. So we just went through the gate and the home that we're going to is located on the golf course, which is the Wildfire Golf Course in Desert Ridge. Again, one of Phoenix's most sought after locations. The home we're going to is just up here on the right as I enter the cul-de-sac. So it's in a cul-de-sac and on the golf course, which is super, super awesome. So we're just gonna park around the corner and this is a four bedroom, three and a half bathroom home that is absolutely stunning. So beautiful courtyard that's also gated really nice driveway for extra parking it is a three-car garage and there's additional spots on the paved driveway so we just passed the driveway and now we enter the beautifully tranquil and serene gated courtyard for extra privacy i'm not too much of a tree guy so i don't know the names but i think they're possibly mesquite maybe but in either case the fountain in the middle is an absolute centerpiece of this awesome, gated, extra secure, private courtyard. So we're gonna enter through this massive, beautiful front door into this wonderful home. One of the things that you're gonna hear me talk about throughout this entire home is the amount of natural light that this home has, and it is awesome. In addition to the backyard, which has the pool, which we'll see later in the video, so make sure you hang out, Grab your favorite drink and wait for the backyard. But this living room, perfect for entertaining, relaxing. If you wanna use it as a dining area, you can, uh, but it gives you those options. And then here is probably what would be best for an office, uh, right next to the front door so you could easily monitor package, has the surround sound already there, uh, perfect for an office, gym, or could even be potentially a theater. Uh, but walking back out here, you're going to see the natural light again, which I think is awesome. There's the, uh, the entry door, which is really stunning. Uh, lots of nice architectural pieces throughout the home or touches. This is the formal dining area. So you could use the living room, but you could also use the dining area right off the entrance or use it whatever you'd like. It could be another office too, for that matter, but it is workable for a dining area. And then we enter the wonderful family room, which has this awesome bar. Stay tuned, we're gonna look at it in a little bit more depth in a little bit, uh, but all these little niches or niches, whatever you wanna call them, uh, with a nice fireplace, and yes, fireplaces are still nice here in Phoenix. Gonna kick it on so you can see, nice gas fireplace, and they actually do provide a little bit of heat, so they're really nice to have, and just a nice um, visual touch to have in a home here in Phoenix. This home is basically empty, so they have a couple chairs here for staging, or maybe that's what they had here before, uh, but just a really nice family room overlooking the kitchen, which we're gonna walk through right now. You know, the kitchen might not look like much from here, but wow, check this out. All the recessed lighting, natural light, perfectly laid out with the island, tons and tons of storage. The insides of the cabinets and drawers, probably a little bit older, but here's a convection oven, microwave, really nice fridge, uh, tons of good storage. So the insides of the cabinets are probably older, uh, but the surfaces are really nice, really good size refrigerator uh, with tons of storage in it. Uh, and then even more storage under the cabinets, the double stove, or double oven, Always get them mixed up. Do you find yourself ever calling the oven and stove the same thing, even though they're not? Uh, but the Sub-Zero fridge, nice walk-in pantry, not huge, but it's spacious. And then watch for all these cabinets. Can you believe it? So for this four bedroom home, this is more than ample storage. Could the cabinets go to the ceiling? Sure, uh, but there's plenty here. Fan could maybe be updated. Nice gas range. Got it right that time. Even comes on, what do you know? Uh, so then more storage here, under cabinet lighting, lots of outlets, so perfect for that. They even have an outlet here in the island, which I think is brilliant. So many times we have stuff on the island or wanna put stuff, but there's never an outlet. Really nice sink, 
Water pressure, I guess, could be a little bit higher or more. But what a view of the backyard and the golf course. And then just all these architectural design, I think, is just really lovely for this home in Desert Ridge. So walking down the hallway to this uh, storage closet, home does have central vacuum, which I think is a great feature to have. And another walk-in closet or pantry just around the corner. Here's the bar tons of storage here too. So if you're an entertainer, this home is for you. There's your special liquor cabinet, wine spot here to the right. More storage, just absolutely perfectly designed and well laid out. And then just around the corner is that walk-in closet or pantry for more stuff. And uh, tons of storage in here too, even above the cabinets. Uh, or, or just shelves, I should say. Here's the guest bathroom just around the corner. So if you're entertaining, don't want to send the people or your guests to the other bathrooms, this one works perfect for that. Laundry room, tons of cabinets in here, and even has a sink, which is a great feature to have. So we've seen the inside. Let's go to the garage. So your standard three-car garage has the water softener system filtration, which is very much needed here in Phoenix because of the hard water. So strongly recommend you getting those if you don't have it. There's the central vacuum tank, well located there in the garage. Nice three-car garage, perfect for storage, has plenty of room for it, even though inside this home has tons of storage. So walking past the dining room, beautiful front door. There's the family or living room and office. And then we're gonna walk down this hallway to a bunch of the other bedrooms and there's the master suite. So, beautiful entrance to the master bedroom, nice big solid door with this humongous master suite. Again, tons of natural light and its own entrance to the beautiful backyard, which we will get to in just a little bit, stand by. Uh, but this room, you could probably put your bed in multiple spots, but uh, best spots just where I'm standing now. And then uh, beautiful windows overlooking the backyard. Windows might need to be replaced, uh, but in either case, and the door. Uh, but there's the spot for the TV. Coming up here to the bathroom with a big uh, entryway. It does have two separate sinks with tons of space on the countertop, which I think is great. There's the other sink, tons of space there as well. And then it has a, a tub, which if you wanted to remodel the bathroom, you could probably get rid of. Not everyone loves a tub. View of the backyard. And then to the right here is the shower, maybe a little bit dated, could probably redo that, make it a bigger shower. Nice big walk-in shower. But the shower that's here is nice. There's the toilet area with a landline phone jack, which, wow, who has those? And who has them in the bathroom? But if you want a landline, there's a spot to put it. And then a bidet, which I've never used before, but I hear they're cool. And the uh, snail shower with multiple uh, spots there and decently sized shower. But again, if you want to remodel the home and upgrade it, could definitely get rid of the tub and uh, put that in there. So this home, which already has enough storage, here's the master closet and wow, very well laid out with your organizing type system there, tons of storage. They have a couple things already stored in there like mattresses, but clearly enough room to store clothes and such. Let's walk back through the master bedroom, going back through the big door here to the hallway, finally get to the uh, living room back over here and walk back down this hallway out to the beautiful backyard. And this is definitely one of, if not the best highlight of the home. You know, they say a home, real estate's all about location. Obviously this is not is in Desert Ridge, as I mentioned, but right on the golf course, the location of the home in the cul-de-sac on the golf course. What more could you absolutely positively need? This has it all. Beautiful pool, spot to just hang out. It's not a lap pool, but definitely a play pool. Perfect for entertaining. Really nice low maintenance backyard. No neighbors behind you. There is a road back there, but it's not very well traveled. Just over here is the tunnel from the golf course. So not much traffic there. You're far enough away from the road. 
and the golf course is just something special. Another mesquite tree, I think, uh, but I could be completely wrong on that. The pool has multiple water features. There's a couple of them. Really just nice, relaxing pool. Perfect backyard for entertaining. Um, very elegant looking, in my opinion. And just around the corner here is the barbecue. There's a spot for an umbrella. Uh, there's the water features. You can see the golf course in the background. So if you love to golf, this is the place to be. Uh, and we're going to walk over here to the side of the yard to look at the beautiful view of the golf course in Desert Ridge and then see the barbecue. So if you are looking for a home in Desert Ridge, North Phoenix, reach out. I'm your guy. If you have any questions about the area, do not hesitate to ask. I'm here. And remember to subscribe to my channel to see other videos about Desert Ridge and other homes in the North Phoenix area. We'll see you on the next one.